YouTube channel. Thank Today, you. Chapter 53. Yes. Okay. Those who lack compassion, kindness tested. One day, Shakyamuni went out disguised as a beggar. He knocked on the door of a house and asked for a bowl of rice. I cook only enough for my husband and myself, said the housewife coldly. Then could you offer me a cup of tea? Tea is too good for a beggar. What I should be good enough? I feel so weak I can hardly move. Will you please fetch me some water? Some nerve. A beggar ordering people around. There's plenty of water in the river in front of the house, so go over there and drink to your heart's content. Suddenly, Shakyamuni revealed himself and said, What a merciless person you are. Had you offered me a bowl of rice, I would have given you this iron bowl full of gold. Had you offered me a cup of tea, I would have given it to you full of silver. And had you offered me water, I would have given it to you full of tin. But you have no kindness. No happiness will ever come to you as you are. Oh, Shakyamuni, is it you? Here, please accept, accept my offering. I cannot. Charity that expects something in return is mixed with poison. I will not accept anything from you. With this, Shakyamuni turned and left. When the woman's husband came home, she told him the whole story. You are so stupid, he said. Why didn't you offer him the bowl of rice in the first place? Then you could have gotten a bowl full of gold in exchange. Believe me, if I'd known that, I'd have given him ten bowls of rice. All right, I'll go after him, give him some rice in exchange for gold, said the husband and took off after Shakyamuni. Just as his strength has, just as his strength was giving out, he came to a fork in the road. A beggar was crouched by the roadside. Hey, beggar, said the husband. Did Shagyamuni pass by here? That I do not know, sir, but I'm so famished I cannot move. Won't you please give me something to eat? I didn't come here to feed you. I came for gold. At that moment, Shakyamuni revealed himself and said, The husband is no better than the wife. Those who lack compassion will receive no happiness. Ah, so you were Shakyamuni all along. It's you I came here to give this to you. Give this to. <coughs> Excuse me. No offerings made for the sake of honor and profit are poisoned. I shall not accept them. With this solemn reply, Shakyamuni went on his way. So, I learned that the Buddha has a very unique uh, capability of uh, changing his appearance or form. Sometimes he can appear as an animal or uh, as a human being like uh, Siddhartha Gautama on this earth and try to guide people. <clears throat> uh, so I think this is one such case. Uh, he is disguised as a beggar and try to test people's kindness. Uh, so, although Buddha passed away 2,600 years ago, maybe it's possible sometimes Buddha appears in front of us uh, disguising as a different form, 
or maybe sometimes as a squirrel or human being i'm not sure uh, he can be anything basically and then he will test our kindness sometimes we might pass his test sometimes or well, many times we might fail uh, so yeah we don't know uh, is this person uh, uh, Buddha or <laughs> not? We don't know. Uh, like this husband and wife, we don't know. Uh, so we are being tested. So it's not wish. It's not that we should practice act of giving all the time to anyone yeah we should choose the recipient um so this is a very difficult point who, who we should give to and who we shouldn't we don't need to give so this is something we need to learn by uh, making uh, self-improvement spiritual improvement spiritual awareness we have to deepen our spiritual awareness and we have to grow and then uh, it becomes easier and therefore to less to 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 find the appropriate people to to give so yeah it's not easy uh, but if we practice act of giving to those people who we owe a lot or who are really respectable and people who think about the uh, happiness of majority people people with virtue then uh, we will not make mix mistake those people need need to be given because uh, those are the three uh, two important fields where we should plant seeds of giving then we will surely receive a maximum amount of happiness yeah we should choose those important fields and practice act of giving okay that's uh, i think that's the message of this story okay very good thank you yuchi for reading and explaining the story for us so we never know when we're being tested let's go forward towards the light together good job everyone for completing today's recitation meditation so have a beautiful uh, Thursday evening. Bye-bye.